Howdy friends, and welcome back to Toy Box Nostalgia. I'm Douglas. In this episode of Toy Photo Setup, my special friend, I'm going to take you on a wonderful little behind the scenes journey as to how I produced this toy photo of Phil Connors and Phil the Groundhog at Gobbler's Knob. I've been inspired to take this picture for a long time. I was very excited and very happy that Funko not only made Phil Connors, but also Phil <laughs> the Groundhog, and they came together so awesome. We love the movie Groundhog Day in this house, and we watch it a lot, especially this time of year. It's pretty much on repeat. So I've never been to Punxsutawney. I've never been to Gobbler's Knob. I did a lot of research and just looked up tons of photos of it. Uh, and reference those photos uh, whenever I was creating the diorama and also whenever I was setting up the actual toy photo which we'll see at the end of the video. I meant to get this toy photo out on Groundhog Day this year but uh, life and work and life uh, kind of just has been pretty hectic this year. I did post the photo on my Instagram account and you can follow me on Instagram if you like. I'm Toybox Nostalgia on Instagram. This photo was an absolute blast. I'm gonna let you know right away that the beginning of this video is pretty much just a video montage of how I built the diorama itself, which was super easy. I just used a bunch of popsicle sticks, those large popsicle sticks that doctors stick into your mouth, <laughs> some plastic rattan from Amazon, hot glue, scissors, acrylic paint, uh, a Sharpie. That's that's all I used to build all of this out. It was super easy, and obviously the, the images that I referenced uh, from the internet. Uh, it was just a lot of fun. It was so much fun. Fake snow, by the way. The fake snow is uh, this stuff right here. Got this from Michaels. This stuff's kind of cool. It looks like snow to me, especially in toy photos, because it, it catches light and it, it's, I think it's technically glitter. It's craft cut crystal glitter, um, but it reflects light just like snow. It just looks pretty awesome. It's a lot of fun. If you're new to Toy Box Nostalgia, you'd love to see some diorama toy photo setup videos show up into your news feed. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, my friend. Truly appreciate it. If you enjoy the content of this video, or if you just like the movie Groundhog Day, or Bill Murray, or Groundhogs, <laughs> or Toy Photos, or Funko, give me a thumbs up. That would be absolutely awesome. And drop a comment below letting me know what you think of this toy photo and the diorama itself, and if you have any questions about the build process. Thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'm gonna catch you after this quick break.
So finally, let's take a look at the photo setup itself, my friends. As we see here, my aperture is set to f22, my auto exposure is 0, my ISO is 800. The camera is in aperture priority mode. That's pretty much what I take most of these photos with. But here is the diorama in its full glory. It's very large. I think it's a great setup. I just kind of wish that it didn't only apply to one day. Like, there's no Groundhog Day season. It's more of like just a day. So it's not like Christmas or anything, but it kind of reminds me of Christmas. Kind of a Christmas movie. Look how good Phil and Phil look together on this diorama. Just absolutely fantastic. I had to extend my desk. You can see a bunch of Neo Geo games here. Holding up a piece of foam core board that it's all sitting on. I chose blue in the background just because that's what most of the photos look like during my research. I have a light blue on the left side pointing at the trees and a dark blue on the right side pointing up at black paperboard which reflected the light really nice. As you see here, speaking of black paperboard, I had to paint in some of the blue during the long exposure. So one of the other things that I noticed during my research of Gobbler's Knob during Groundhog Day events is that they seemingly always happened early in the morning like dawn. Here in Pennsylvania, it's really dark in the morning and gets dark pretty early during the winter time. And this seemed like an outdoor event that had overhead artificial white lighting, as you see here. Two white LED ring lights pointing down at the stage just to make it seem like they were put there purposefully to light up the stage for the event. Almost like it's a concert, right? 